Hello friends. Uh, so we are into our uh, course on uh, risk-based engineering sponsored by NPTEL. Um, I am Professor Prabhakar V. Varde and uh, our topic is system reliability modeling. And in this lecture, uh, we will be touching upon the salient features of maintainability. Uh, maintainability, uh, when a plant is concerned, is one of the most important aspect because uh, the insights from maintainability um, kind of repair or inspection that we perform, uh, it goes into risk-based ISI, reliability center maintenance and many more inspection programs. So, uh, so we, are, uh, we are addressing only the salient features because when we will develop the, uh, when we will discuss the applications later on uh, or as we go with the uh, lectures, uh, that time these aspects will be discussed in India. For example, um, repair aspects I have already discussed in availability modeling in one of the previous lectures. So, you will find information um, uh, scattered uh, for many, many of the subjects. Uh, which are basically in applied domain. So now let us uh, start the talk on uh, maintainability. And uh, so what we call the moment we built any entity or any organization or any system, maintainability is a, is a very, very important component because it brings in an, an element of sustainability or it brings an element of uh, fighting uh, against the aging of the uh, component due to operations. Uh, so uh, it is very important to keep uh, the operation and maintenance together uh, such that uh, one, the output is realized or throughput of the plant is realized in a beneficial manner at the same time. Um, the safety or risk aspects are also addressed uh, and uh, uh, the safety philosophy says that uh, safety is an overriding fact factor. So that means safety uh, should not be compromised. Uh, so, uh, so we have to have a check and balance between plant availability and plant maintainability uh, and the, their safety plays a very important role. And for us, since we are de dealing in probabilistic risk assessment or risk-based engineering, the risk is central to us. That uh, We can say that uh, risk reduction means a gain in safety. So, uh, so, uh, so that way, um, both are important and they have to be uh, kept in check on a continuum basis. So, uh, good maintainability only results in higher plant availability because good maintainability is not only in plant availability but uh, risk reduction also because uh, when we talk of availability we talk, we talk about the reliability or uh, the aspects which are uh, for continuous operation of the plant and when we are, we are talking about risk we are basically concerned with unsafe failure. So, but both are failure. So maintainability uh, addresses both giving more importance to uh, risk significant components. The trained and qualified, uh, uh, what we do is quantification, modeling, methods this is very good. But uh, uh, finally the maintainability or maintenance is implemented or ensured by the trained and qualified staff they have experience and they know how to do the jobs. So, and then other factors like planning, resources, availability of resources, uh, they are also a uh, key factor in maintainability. And of course, the plant risk culture, risk conscious culture is very important to ensure higher maintainability. Why I am talking about this? These are not mathematical parameters but they reflect in the level of maintainability that we have. So, uh, so uh, 
uh, if you have to check uh, where things are uh, at our, on our side and where we have to keep a check and uh, this thing. So these factors, they are very important. Uh, even if we know at qualitative level, um, we have to work on it. The plant maintenance activity is generally governed by predefined time interval. It is called preventive maintenance. So this is one way to ensure higher maintainability. Um, then uh, what preventive maintenance does? It is basically preventive in nature. Uh, so it doesn't allow the component to go to the uh, failed state uh, or breakdown state. So that's why in preventive maintenance, uh, we, but then uh, how much maintenance is sufficient? That will come out only when we have data on failure and operation of the component. So uh, on quantitative basis, there can be optimization. But of course, one, one is preventive maintenance and slowly, slowly, now we are embarrassing um, condition-based maintenance also because the technology has advanced. We can put sensor on the equipment, whether it could be temperature sensor, it could be um, uh, humidity sensor, it could be level sensor, and we can know the equipment of the uh, uh, condition of the equipment, whether the sufficient oil is there, temperature is not going beyond limit, or you know, any vibration is one of the very significant and important indicator. So these things are they are monitored, and that's why we say condition based maintenance. What are the attributes which takes the system to failed state, monitor them online and take the prior action before the degradation take the component to a failed state. This is the objective. The advanced uh, predictive pr procedures, uh, these are basically for very, very uh, safety critical systems uh, like aviation and uh, to uh, great extent for nuclear plants, uh, prognostics and health management. In condition based ma maintenance, we have a sensor and we are displayed those parameters. But um, in prognostics and health management, there, the, there are models like physics of failure model, uh, which, uh, which uh, is developed uh, based on the uh, operation parameter that is data driven or sometimes physics of failure also. So uh, all that means the science is understood uh, in respect of the failure. And that's why physics of failure models are there and they give the status of the degradation of the component and by that they will, uh, the PHM will provide the uh, uh, residual uh, useful time, RUL. Uh, uh, and this RUL will tell whether the plant need to be shut down right now or it can be shut down later on or corrective measure to be taken. I mean, so the, we are very much well informed. We take and take an informed decision in respect of our management of the plant. So, uh, so uh, however, uh, having discussed this, um, the scope of this talk is on maintainability or rather, you know, the, the, the quantitative aspects of the maintainability. Now, how to define maintainability? Maintainability has got uh, uh, something similar to reliability. So, even if we, what we call reliability is the failure free operation of the component uh, for a given mission and under given or stated condition. So similarly, maintainability is the probability that a unit or system will be restored to desired condition within a given period and maintenance actions are performed using prescribed procedures by qualified and trained staff and available resources. Because these are the condition, without that maintainability cannot be achieved. So any, any, any statement, uh, quantitative statement has to be a subjective statement because these are the condition to be met, then only we will get this kind of maintainability. For example, if we have a computer system and if we do not operate or any computational unit, a ground benign condition that is 22 degree centigrade temperature and 50 percent humidity, we will not get the result uh, what it was predicted or uh, communicated to us by the vendor. So uh, there are constraints to this or uh, you know conditions. So maintainability is the characteristic of design and operation both. Uh, why design? Because design takes into account various loads, 
uh, various conditions, uh, various temperature and all that and then what kind of uh, factor of safety is required and operation takes how to ensure this condition when the system is in operation. The value of maintainability lies like reliability lies between 0 and 1, maintainability also uh, value of maintainability also lies between 0 and 1. <coughs> Now, in uh, reliability, I am giving an analogous analogy between reliability and maintainability because for easy understanding. So, in, uh, in uh, reliability, we have failure rate. So, in maintainability, we have repair rate. In, uh, in reliability, we have mean time to failure. In maintainability, we have mean time to repair. And mean time to repair inverse of mean time to re repair is uh, failure, uh, 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 repair rate. Okay? So, with this the model has been built. Uh, the mean time to repair or repair rate are the basic mathematical parameter for maintainability analysis. Uh, either you call repair rate or you call mean time to repair uh, because uh, one is inverse of other. Uh, they become the fundamental uh, parameter uh, for maintainability modeling. Uh, repair time is treated as random variable like mean time to failure uh, is treated as random or lambda is treated as uh, time to failure is treated as random variable. Mean time to sto uh, store or uh, repair is also treated as random variable. Why random variable? Because for the same maintenance action or repair action uh, there are different times available and this time uh, difference in times are coming because of different situation. Sometimes resources were not adequate, sometimes uh, the person who was performing the repair, he, uh, the expertise differed from the previous fellow or sometimes, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, troubleshooting itself takes a lot of time. Uh, the component even though it failed but it's a, it's a mode of failure was different so troubleshooting and then calibration requirements. So these are the factors which closely make the uh, repair time as a random variable uh, though it should have been the uh, sort of constant but it is not. So uh, by uh, making it a random variable we can model the maintainability in a better way. Now modeling for repair time. Consider the random variable t represent the repair time. Like we had a time to failure. Okay? Now ht is the probability density function of repair time and therefore the cumulative CDF for the repair time is given as probability that uh, the random variable v t capital T will be less than t that is random variable that is repair time actual repair time will be less than the t time okay, for which we are estimating the probability is equal to h t is equal to 0 to t uh, uh, h t that is uh, probability density function of repair. h t is nothing but probability density function for repair d t. So, this is how we get here uh, this uh, uh, the formula for cumulative distribution function of repair cumulative distribution function for repair. So, PDF we got HT then uh, this one we have. So, now uh, from here we can derive the uh, definition of like for uh, for mean time to failure the definition was lambda into FT DT. So, mean time to repair also we will have this definition 0 to infinity, infinity integral T is time is random variable into HT DT. And finally, if we uh, solve it 0 to infinity, 1 minus ht dt uh, is the mean time to uh, repair we have over here. Now, let us go further, uh, take a small example and uh, uh, just to try to understand um, the modeling component. So, let us say the, uh, the repair time function or PDF of repair time ht is given by 0.05t and the t lies between 1 to 10 hours. So, estimate estimating the mean time to failure, uh, we have cumulative distribution function which is 1 to t uh, that is it varies from 1 to t, t means the parameter for which you want. 0 0.05 t 
T, F T, the definite H T small H T into delta T. If we do the integration, you will find 0 0.025 T square minus because half of this thing and uh, minus 0 0.025. Now phi hours we have this formula um, uh, that uh, and for G, mean time to failure that means 1 to 10 we have 0 0.05 T square dt. So this is the mean time to failure we can, we can solve it for 1 to 10 and then we can uh, integration and we can get the mean time to failure. Uh, maintainability. Uh, repair rate and MTTR, mean time to repair, have analogous relationship with failure rate and mean time to failure. Now, repair rate, what is repair rate? 1 upon mean time to repair. And how, uh, what, what I am trying to tell from here that maintainability uh, we have discussed as part of the availability because therein we have used the uh, mu t repair rate mu is a function of t okay so instantaneous repair rate, uh, repair rate and failure rate so that means we have this marco model where the system is in operation through the failure mode that is lambda t instantaneous it goes to the failed state okay and once it is it is failed from repair uh, uh, thing uh, activities or uh, repair rate, it goes to again uh, state of operation. So this aspect we have discussed and uh, uh, when we derive the complex uh, differential equation of uh, maintainability or availability, uh, we will see or we have already seen uh, for single component for, for, for uh, uh, more combination of component like two component, two out of three failure uh, Marco model, okay, two out of four Marco model, different repair, repair maintenance activities. Uh, we will, if we get an opportunity, we will draw those models also so that we have better sense of maintainability or more, more learning from the maintainability considerations. Now, uh, how if the uh, individual models are concerned? Let us say uh, we discuss exponential, exponential model is the best or simplest model that we have and we know that the, the cumulative density function for uh, repair time is can be given 0 to t mu uh, into exponential minus mu t dt. Okay? So what we get is ht that is cumulative density function is equal to 1 minus exponential minus mu t. Uh, don't you think we have found a very good maintainability uh, uh, function here, um, here um, in terms of cumulative density function. Okay. Now, uh, maintainability we have discussed as uh, its introduction, uh, role of repair time distribution, PDF of repair, mean time to repair, and a cumulative distribution function of the um, maintainability or time to repair. You know, so having said this, we conclude this lecture. But before that, uh, I'll provide an overview of the um, this week what we discuss. So our subject was reliability modeling, and uh, in the fifth week, uh, it was B because it was uh, it was covered in two weeks. So third week and uh, sorry fourth week and fifth week. So uh, week four uh, overview uh, is like this. Um, we we have uh, covered uh, requirements in risk and reliability, advanced methods in DFT and DET binary decision diagram, applied and special topics, common cause failure, importance and sensitivity analysis, maintainability analysis. The NPTEL lectures on the system modeling is concluded. Next two weeks, we will be discussing the probabilistic risk assessment, the center pillar of risk-based engineering. So thank you very much.